So when I retired from the SEAL teams after 21 years, I got into the civilian world teaching leadership, resilience all across the country, talking about the overcome mindset. One of the core questions I frequently ask people is, will you be ready? And people oftentimes say, well, for what? The reality is, for anything. And there are a lot of friends that are out there teaching at a pretty high level. They're focused typically on law enforcement or individuals who are already in that arena. What I was finding as I worked with business leaders, entrepreneurs, moms and dads, they kept saying to me, man, I wish I knew some of the things that you know. I wish I knew basic use of a weapon. I wish I knew how to assess situations and look at a violent encounter. I wish I knew how to treat a trauma or a penetrating injury. I wish I knew how to do that. If you are a leader and you have an overcome mindset, it really is about being ready in all aspects of your lives. I brought together some amazing instructors, and here we are today, the first Overcome and Survive workshop. This is the uh, pivotal question that I ask, will you be ready? You don't know when something is going to happen. This is a course to give you a basic understanding and hopefully to get comfortable with firearms, with survival, with these basic skills that I think are critically important. When you are hurt, or you have a loved one hurt, you have a very, very narrow window of time to do something about it. You gotta default to having an algorithm or having some sort of steps that I can follow that's gonna keep my loved one alive. I've been on calls before where people were standing back and had no idea. There was so much more they could have been doing. So learning these basic skills in first aid, how to stop a bleed, how to help someone breathe. Anybody can benefit from training like this. What decision point do you defend? Don't defend for your pride or stuff. People, that's all that really matters. It's not just about the weapons, it's about the mindset. Every day you gotta train, and you gotta train and train and train. And the teams, we always said, train like you mean it, and that's what we're gonna do. We are moving from a point of trying to de-escalate to a point of, I now have to engage this individual. It needs to be fast, it needs to be focused, and then when the time comes, it needs to be furious. So when your mom said violence never solves anything, she was lying to you. In a violent encounter, violence is the answer. He believes so strongly in making stronger communities and providing and transferring the knowledge that we brought from the military to protect yourselves into every common person out there. You can't really put a price tag on what he's doing to help people with the mindset, the ability, and the confidence to take control of their protection. You know, in your day-to-day -day life, I think we take things for granted, but when you come to a course like this, it gives you a different perspective on how to be prepared for anything, really. We don't need wannabes to tell us how to protect ourselves. We want people who have actually been in those circumstances, and there's a good reason why they survived it. They had the proper training. Their know-how is what we need. I don't think that we could have gotten a better instruction anywhere. It was beyond my expectations, beyond what I thought it would be. Bad things happen to good people. And I think sometimes people live in this idealistic bubble where they think, well, that'll never happen to me. That's not reality. And I'm not gonna make you John Wick, but you will have a basic level that you can treat yourself, hopefully protect yourself, and have a mindset of survival.